So we're looking at the latest iteration and improvements on ML1. What are some key changes you're making with the latest version of the technology? Well, thanks for having me back, Emily. And um, the latest version is 100% focused on enterprise. In fact, it's purpose built for enterprise. And what we heard that folks in the areas of healthcare, defense and manufacturing needed were a bigger field of view. So we've doubled that field of view. That's the area that you can place the digital content within. We've also improved the optics from uh, one end to the other. There's, the, there's better text legibility. Uh, the image is crisper and clearer. Um, so we've we've done a lot to focus on the improvements that were needed to meet the specific use cases in those three areas. So what is the market opportunity here? Who do you see using this? Well, IDC says the market opportunity in enterprise AR is $39 billion by 2025. But the real near-term opportunity is in those three areas. So, for instance, uh, in healthcare, we are making the device able to take into the operating room. And doctors can now wear it during surgery because they can still see the patient in front of them, but they can hang a variety of screens around them to um, check the patient's vitals. We've also changed the orientation of the field of view to be more up and down so they don't have as much body movement. They can just glance up, see the vitals, and look back down at the patient. In defense, we have a variety of use cases, largely around training and command and control scenarios. And then in manufacturing, frontline workers uh, gives them the ability um, really to be hands-free and continue to do their job, but to have digital content put in front of their eyes that can help them do their job better. Meta's Oculus headset is obviously the, the market leader for VR right now, though still the market is small. You have Microsoft's HoloLens in AR. Where do you see Magic Leap's headset competing and how? Well, I see us as the leader in the fully immersive AR sector. So some of the other devices in AR might be um, just meeting a narrow enterprise use case. With all of the new improvements in our device, we can meet a much broader set of use cases. And so you can think of us sort of as the, the higher end, uh, the uh, where you need more accurate placement of that digital content in your physical world. And those are the requirements of the three markets we're focused on. The device looks like a blend of AR and VR. You know, why do you think mixed reality is the way forward. I've, I've spoken to some folks lately who think it's all about AR and that, you know, most consumers and em, em, employees, if, if you're using this through your business, don't want to be stuck in a virtual world. You're right. And I think the real promise of the metaverse is in augmented reality. We want to have our heads back up again and seeing our physical world and just having that content intelligently placed in, into that world. And so we are focused on AR, though we did introduce an interesting new innovation called dimming, where you can take the light out of what you're seeing and you can have almost like a, an, a, a super focus on something. So doctors can take the light out of a bright operating room and just see the knee in front of them that they're operating on. And we can do that globally or we can do it in just segments in front of the screen. Super complex to do because AR is all about introducing light in front of your eyes and we're actually removing it. So do you think the metaverse is overhyped? Well, I think we're at the beginning of a technology and I think oftentimes new technologies do get a bit of a hype cycle. We are staying very grounded in what the technology is capable of doing today. Over time, I think you'll see the further expansion of, into consumer AR, but the device is going to have to be uh, smaller, lighter, more of a glasses format. Uh, we've made steps toward that with Magic Leap 2. It's about 20% uh, less weight and about half the volume of Magic Leap 1, but it's going to need right. another two or two for consumers.